It happens only once a decade, and it shapes the political landscape for years to come. Today, state Republicans released their plan for how to withdraw the lines for Indiana's congressional and House districts. Now, this plan impacts who you can vote for and who represents you in Congress and the Indiana State House. Tonight, our Bob Siegel explains what the new voting districts look like. These are Indiana's nine congressional districts for the past decade. The new district map released today by Republicans looks like this. What do the changes mean? Well, probably not a lot when it comes to the makeup of Indiana's congressional delegation. Overwhelmingly, we have seven districts that are for Republicans and two that are for Democrats. That is Laura Wilson. She's a political science professor at the University of Indianapolis, and she says the balance of power, at least in the near term, probably will not be impacted by the newly proposed congressional districts. Newly drawn District 1 in Northwest Indiana and District 7 in Marion County, both in blue, they should still favor Democrats, with Republican candidates having a big advantage in all the other districts. Perhaps the most striking thing to point out is a change in Congressional District Number 5. It currently includes the northern part of Marion County. The new map has District 5 dropping those voters in Marion County. They would vote in District 7 instead, and that could be a big help to Republicans. For the 5th Congressional District, that northern part of Marion County did tend to lean a little bit blue. So by taking that out of that Congressional District, it would presumably probably be a little bit more safe for Republicans, and it'll certainly make it harder for Democratic challengers in future elections. The State House of Representatives map also has many proposed changes. This is what the new House District map would look like. There are 100 different districts, so figuring out what all the changes mean is no easy task. This will take, quite frankly, weeks and months to analyze and dissect. We are analyzing and we'll have more details in the future. In the meantime, if you want to see all the proposed changes and whether the redistricting would change where you vote and who you can vote for, we have all the posted maps right now at WTHR.com.